What's going on guys? I'm with John again and so far it's what time is it right now? I don't know because I took my watch off. <laughs> okay. It's uh I think it's like nine. Eight. It's it's nine on the dot right now. We started killing these pigs at I don't know like 7:30. This is probably the craziest hunt so far. We have eleven pigs down so far. We have, I don't know, like five right here, three right here, something like that. And we have more back in the field, but we're just so stocked up right now. And the other three that we have are absolute toads. So we had to drop these off. We're about to go back and get the other ones, but the content that we have so far, the footage is insane. So we'll roll that footage right now and then we'll see you guys in a second. Are we good to shoot that way? Is it? Yeah. Is it down? Oh man. Oh wait, is that? That's special juice. Yeah. Dang. Quite pissed. Yeah. Something. Putting them on top of the Jeep was oh, there we go. Putting the little ones on top of the Jeep was not the best play, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's all piss. I just realized you're filming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's not what you think it is. It's just piss. It's not what you think it is. It's just piss. I'm on. All right, here's the three last ones from that first field, very first sounder of the night. And we actually just got pictures. That's probably the smallest one of those three. This, I want to say, balls. I think this was the very first one that I dropped. He's a stud. We're definitely weighing him later. Dang. He's, I don't know, he might be about 250. I mean, I'm 200. Let's see what I look like. Yeah. At. Yeah, he's, he. <laughs> He's a little bit on the short side, but he's got some chunk to him. And then this is, I want to say this is probably yours, John. Your the first South? one. Yeah. This mama. She might weigh more than him. Maybe, because she, she might be pregnant. I don't know.
but yeah and i just got pictures um of pigs at my property that i have access to so we're about to drive over there because it's not too far of a drive and see if we can catch up with them and then we'll come back here to hunt for the rest of the night so we'll see you guys in a second all right well if y'all remember one of my most recent videos where i shot those two pigs with the scar there was that dog that followed me the entire time and that's this place so the dog came back it was real sweet but it followed us the entire time along with another dog so we got on these pigs and we tried to stay as far away as possible so the dogs couldn't sniff them and start barking so further shots um didn't make the best shots we got three luckily they're all you know not the biggest but i mean three more down than there was before and um we kind of had to fight to find these pigs um that were injured in the trees but we got some good footage of finishing them off so now we're gonna go back to john's places and see if the pigs are moving there because it's still only 10 p.m and we usually don't even start till about this time so we'll see how it goes he's got chunks hanging from us i'm ready when oh, i'm filming We don't really know what's going on, but hey, come here. He's been following us since we set up our tripods to try to kill some pigs. It's actually a big body buck, just with barely any antlers. We've been scared. We got in the car because he started humping me, which you got, you got a video of that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so pretty eventful. Dude. All right, let's go kill more pigs. I think you're his type. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, this thing's a stud with no antlers. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Hey, hey. All right, favorite time of the night is guessing the weight. What are we thinking on the big boar? I, I'm just gonna throw a number and say uh, two, 240. I'm gonna go, I don't know, he is a chunk. I'm gonna go 247 and we'll see how it goes. He's got a bunch of mud on him. So scale is Maybe that'll help your weight. balanced out, yeah. He's gonna swing right to me. Climbing up there. Get him a little bit higher. All right, he's off. 226.7, dang. Okay, so a little bit too high of a number for us, but he's still, he, I mean, he's, he's a mean pig. So now let's get over to the sow. All right, now we're back on to the big sow that John shot. We're zeroed out. What are we thinking? I'm going to say 240 again. Uh, 240 Maybe again? Maybe 250. Okay, I'm going to go 247 again. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, I think she's pregnant for sure. Go this side. Oh. Dang, we're low again. 220. What was the other one? 226 yeah. this one's 227 dang yeah pretty much i mean we got she looks a little bit dirty right now but we got her size versus his size and then the other ones i right mean there. oh yeah he looked a little bit weird his size we have a couple other big ones but nothing worth weighing but for two pigs that's i'm blanking 450 what these two together yeah 450 yeah so yeah that's not too bad for two pigs um but yeah oh actually no she's 228 now we'll give her a little bit more credit 228 <laughs> she just got a little fatter but anyways now we're gonna get these onto the bed of the truck get some pictures going and i'll see y'all in a second
All right, we are wrapping up the video. We have the pigs lined up all ready for the pictures. The sun is just now starting to rise, so that's gonna be pretty cool for pictures. Um, those of you that watch the channel, you probably already know the guns that we're running, but for those of you that don't, John, quickly run down what you're using tonight. All right, the SCAR 17S, that's the heavy, running uh, Hornady 150 grain SST. We got the three section tripod with the Levitate ball head, and there is a kinetic development stock on this. The Optic Clarion 640, uh, I've been loving the color scheme I'm using for thermal hunts. Uh, watch the videos, you'll see it, it's awesome. And then of course the uh, tongue twister uh, silencer that I let Andre say all the, the Rex, time. Rex Selenium Mod X and then John's little bacon wrap can, or can cover on there, so it's pretty legit. It's the best part. Oh yeah. And then um, I'm running as usual the 762 by 39. I like to run it cheap, uh, running Wolf steel case hollow points which is i mean it's 40 50 cents around but anyways then we have the varmint v2 uh lrf uh, it's the 5640 uh, by the way 13.9 inch pistol with john's rugged radiant suppressor and then a uh, fat boy elevate with the levitate ball head so yeah the two section killer combo especially whenever we're running it inside of the uh inside of the jeep it's so much easier to extract it you know i don't know what the word for it is Ext extend it and then contract it so i love that all right folks i am wrapping up the video i just got back um, at 8 a.m had to make a quick pit stop at dublin donuts to get my donuts my bacon sandwich and my energy drink and i'm headed straight to class right now i don't know if you guys know this but i'm a full-time college student so i hunt from 7 p.m to 7 a.m head back take a quick shower well i of course i have to stop by dublin donuts first take a quick shower and then head straight to class and i don't have time to sleep up until that night so i stay up in 48 hour intervals and i get used to it i just enjoy producing as much content for you guys as possible i just i love doing that so please support the channel by subscribing to the channel make sure to like this video make sure to share with your buddies um oh i will also have my instagram down in the description if you want to dm me personally asking me any questions or if you want to ask them down in the comments i will make sure to answer them as much as possible or back to the instagram if you want to just see some behind the scenes before i post them on youtube make sure to check me out on instagram anyways i hope you all have an amazing rest of y'all's day and i will catch you guys in the next one see ya